What's up guys, it's your boy. Back with another video real quick. I'm on like five hours of sleep right now. But hey, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. I'm, go I'm on the way to the gym right now. I'll do my quick five miles. Hopefully a little lifting. And I gotta go to school. I think I got a quiz or something. And then I gotta work from four to 12. You know, hey, it's a... Uh, Today is, it's a grind, you know. Got some lax yesterday. We're gonna put that aside today so we can focus and really lock in on some duties, you know. So, you know, you gotta sacrifice for the things you wanna do. Like when I, when I talk about wanting to do music and wanting to be an athlete and an artist I sacrifice time you know that I could that I could spend with friends going out you know doing things that I like but at the end of the day what would I rather where would I rather be you know five years from now when you know I've, I've put in all the work all the necessary hours I, I clocked in those hours to get to where I need to be or will I just be content you know just just being okay Knowing that I could have done more, but being okay, or maybe there's this rage and guilt inside of me that tells me, man, was going out all those all those days really worth it? Was going to the movie theater that one time really worth it? Was hanging out with your friends all that much really worth it? You gotta sacrifice. You sacrifice. You gotta make time for 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 what you really are for what you really need to lock in on it really just how much do you actually want it you know how much do you actually want to pursue this career how much do you actually want to finish and get that degree how much do you actually want that body right i mean i want my my want an extremely fit body so much that I run five miles every day and I go to the gym every day every day every fucking day I sacrifice sleep for it I sacrifice going out with friends for it I sacrifice my dating life for it I sacrifice a lot for it because I want it that bad you have to decide, hey, how bad do I really want this? Because, you know, everybody wants something. But are they willing to put in the work and the hours to do it? You know, I, there's days when I'm just too tired. And I you know, I still I still pull up, pull up Duolingo and I learn that little bit of that language of Japanese that I'm working on right now. I, I tried doing like Japanese, French, and Italian, and German all at the same time, and American Sign Language, but man, that was, that, that was a, it was a lot. So I'm thinking I could probably just do Japanese and then like, all turn, I get like master Japanese first. I need, I, I just need to complete the whole course. Just like complete courses, you know, you just get them done. But I need a little bit more, I need to be faster. I'm consistent with it. I do it every single day, like clockwork. But I gotta do more, you know. It's but it's like after a long day, it's mentally draining to sit there and think about what the hell okide means. It's just a drag. But hey, you gotta do it anyways. How bad do I want to learn Japanese? I want it bad, right? You gotta just decide, man. You gotta just stay consistent. You gotta just get it done. There's no excuses. There is no tomorrow, right? Just get it. Just get it done. 
Stop making excuses. Are you are you the type of person to go after what they want or the type of person that just makes an excuse every single time something gets hard? I'm done with that shit, man. Seriously, I'm done like that. That uh, can't do it anymore. I'm just over it. I've spent a lot of my life just thinking, oh, I could do it tomorrow. I got time. Oh, it's not that important right now. Oh, I'll study later. Oh, I'll go to the gym tomorrow. I can have a day off. But you know what, man? No, it's it's over with. It is over with. I'm getting it done now. Today. Today is happening. Sleep? Screw it, man. I'll drink more coffee, man. I do have a sleeping problem. I, I, I do I do have a sleeping problem. I don't know what, I don't know how to fix it. I don't know, I don't know what the hell's up with it, but it's, it's a problem, dude. It's like, it's like, I mean, I, maybe it's like all the coffee that I drink and stuff, but dude, I just don't understand. Like, it's a problem. I, my, my brain just fries at night, you know? Maybe I push myself too much, but you know what? That's a good thing. That's a good sign. Work-life balance. Man, shut the frick up, man. See, it's that kind of... Like, okay, so... You know, I don't want to be negative towards anybody or anything, but... I said something to someone about, like, you know, every day, go to the gym every day, no rest days. And they're like, oh, well, you know, that's... You know, that's that's not that's kind of pushing it, you know. This is not what you want to do. Who takes a rest day? Everybody. Who doesn't? The savages, man. We do this shit every fucking day. So man, that kind of that kind of thinking is just man like how bad do you really want this? Do you want it so bad that you're willing to show up every single day? Every single day. Show up every single day. And work towards it. Like, you, you, you smoke weed every fucking day. You drink every fucking day. But you're not willing to go out and put work in every day? I don't, I don't understand. It blows my mind, dude. It really just blows me. I mean, from a, from a, I get it. I get it because I used to be that guy. I used to be the guy that smokes every single day. I used to be proud of it. I used to boast about it. Yeah, man, I smoke weed every day, bro. Backwards every day. Yeah, let's smoke weed and get drunk. Let's get a beer. Every day. That used to be me. So I get it. Well, I understand it. I get why you don't want to go to the gym every day, but you'd rather smoke some weed every day. Because it's hard. It's hard. There's no easy way about it. It's fucking hard. You know? It's hard doing something like that every day. You know what? Is it worth it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so worth it. Showing up every day. Doing something you don't want to do. Because, honestly, I don't really like going to the gym. Okay, I do. I, I like going on, on the weekends. Because I don't have to run. But dude, when I come in on the weekend weekdays, oh, Monday through Friday, dude, I gotta do those five miles. Oh my god, that shit sucks, dude. It sucks, dude. I can't stand it. But I do it anyways. Cause you have to get used to not to doing stuff that you don't want to do. Do I want to, like, do I want to go to school every day? Or well, I don't go every day. But, like, do I want to go to school? No. I don't want to do that shit. 
but I have to, you know, I just, I need to push myself beyond the things that I'm, that I think I'm capable of doing. And I want to be an intellectual, honestly, I want to know stuff. I want to be smart. I want to prove to myself that I can achieve anything. I think I've said this plenty of times before, but I'm just, you know, trying to engrave the idea that I'm capable of doing whatever the hell I put my mind to. Nothing can stop me. Whether that be in music, that be in the gym, that be in fitness, that be in education. I'm out here to break bones, dude. I'm I'm, I'm here to take over. So I got this um, this project that I'm working on. I'm kind of reluctant to announce it here. I mean, no one fucking watches these videos anyway, so whatever. But, yeah, this is the biggest year of my life right here. 2023, it's a 20, 2024, mark my words, biggest year of my life. It took me 26, well, 25 years to, to finally complete myself. By the end of this year, bro, I'm going to be in a whole different situation, a whole different landscape. We're going to see how far we can take our lives, take my life in one year. We're doing the one year challenge. Yeah, I think I'm just going to make this channel about just doing a bunch of challenges. Just because why the fuck not? I, I, I get in the gym. I'm kind of delaying getting in there no oh dude this this treadmill is gonna be freaking just blocked off everywhere it's gonna be a drag i don't understand people that smoke before they go into the inside the gym bro what that's kind of kind of intuitive but you know what man i i don't care people do what the hell they want man i used to be that guy and you know what man it always just somehow halted progress somewhere some in some way People that say, oh, man, smoking weed before the gym helps me lock. Bro, shut up. You need a crutch. I mean, I guess in the same way I need a pre-workout. But, I mean, that's designed for gym. You know, weed is designed for relaxation, I guess. You know? Not really to push your... All right, whatever, you know? That's just what, that's just what I think. I, I don't think you should smoke weed and go to the gym. It's just ridiculous. I used to do it all the time. I was my pre-workout too. Yeah, was my pre-workout, bro. Smoke weed before and after the gym. And you know what, bro? I was a fat piece of shit. So. And you also stink. You stink. I can tell you smoke weed. I can smell it. I can smell it on you. We can all tell the whole gym can, say, can smell it on you, dude. It's not... Really, it's not, it's not anything special, man. But whatever, I digress. All right, I'm gonna get in the gym. Y'all be safe.